Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful Capricorn. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivansh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. This card just jumped out of the deck. I'll see. But I got a... This is your love energy check for you, Capricorn. All right. So, Capricorn, I am feeling for you is that you need a practical approach to this relationship of yours. I'm doing this love energy check for you. And I got this downloaded word for you is practical practical approach universe gave me this word for you in your love dynamic you have to see certain things from a practical standpoint look at that just now i did uh, the reading for um, i believe Sagitt sagittarius and they got this two card i shuffled and these two cards are coming for you as well so you really need to see this is judgment call it's jyoti here jyoti means you have to see certain things from a different perspective altogether with certain clarities and having a practical approach to your situation because I am seeing there is a lot of conflict, a lot of ripple effect. There is a ripple effect in this connection. It's like this. You say one thing to the person, you get 10 things thrown at you. All right. You can sense, you can smell some kind of secrecy in this connection. Just at the fear of losing, you pull back. But every time you have tried to uh, confront or talk about it, you have landed up into argument. All right. And things uh, fall, uh, fell back. Uh, it's like things fall apart. All right. It's more like this. That's how I'm feeling. So universe is asking you to have a practical approach in your love dynamic. This is very much needed for you. Only through a practical understanding and a practical approach, you will be able to break through uh, in this situation where you are stuck right now. Your time is to really to pay attention to yourself, pay attention to what you want in your life and 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 work on that. Look, you, you, yeah, I'm feeling so tired in your energies, you know, two readings and I'm feeling so tired. It, it, Although I'm in shooting, but I'm not feeling like that. But in your reading and in Sagittarius reading, I really felt like that. So anybody you're dealing with Sag, you can go and check that reading. All right. Uh, you will get more messages. That's how I'm feeling for you. Because here also the focus messages come like that. All right. So you have asked a question to your father in heaven. Yes, you have a soulful partner. All right. You have a soulful uh, relationship this lifetime. But... Uh, you guys are, are not in alignment right now hence you guys are not coming together hence there are because there are a lot of secrets because high priestess is all about uh, you know secrets laws uh, you know this is a how card of Pisces it's a card of Pisces means Pisces is a house of sacrifice laws you are feeling very much like sacrificial in this connection you are sacrificing a lot putting in a lot of effort trying to see things like you know uh, how it is this relationship how it is the emotions that you feel uh, for this person how it is you are checking all these details which is very good that's what father is saying once you will check all these details then only you will be able to have a practical approach towards this relationship or in this relationship so that you can understand what this relationship holds for you for the near future so the thoughts that you are having right now depend looking up to this point of getting married to this person or staying together in the near future you are processing your thoughts in a way um, or you should process your thought in a way that should have a practical approach very rational very practical and very logical all right you cannot be just flying in love 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 and you know give your all and you get nothing in return and this card has that ripple effect and why i'm saying ripple effect means um what goes around comes around right so what you are giving you are getting in return back so if you are feeling gaslighted or triggered in this connection right now or feeling drained right now the way i am feeling really stressed out drained i'm feeling like that so if you are feeling like this look stressed out and drained right so you will feel stressed out if it is a tug of war kind of a relationship this is a tug of war kind of a relationship somebody is not seeing your worth and somebody is not seeing the worth of this connection that said 
that's the reason this wheel of fortune is not in, in not turning in your favor and hence you are feeling like this ultimately at the lo losing end you know sometimes you probably feel like to even you know i'm i i'm telling you don't think anything like that all right some of you really tend to have this kind of thought like just one uh, uh, trigger and you you go so crazy that you really want to uh, end your life you have no right whatsoever to end your life or, or even bring any thought like that if you are bringing this kind of thought then you are not just calling a karma for yourself you are actually have created a curse for yourself so don't think about ending your life with just one tiff or one trigger or one gaslight or one emotion that you are not able to deal with right now if you have this kind of thought going on that better i end my life or you're trying to um, uh, harm yourself all right i have gone through this my 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 dear beautiful viewers if you see here i have so much of cut marks i used to write my boyfriend's name here all right i have tortured my physical self too much and i have paid a price big price for that i have not cared my i have not respected my body as a soul as a spirit all right hence i have gone through major surgeries in my life i have returned from death bed all right so that's why i'm telling you don't try to end your life don't think about ending your life or don't go crazy by uh, emotion that you are feeling right now because this too shall pass nothing is permanent in our life all right this is just a journey you got to just experience the journey take away the lessons from the journey and just keep charging ahead rather than giving up on it all right you are not called by the universe to give up you are called by the universe to give in your whole recognize yourself work on yourself all right if you want somebody else to value you appreciate you for who you are all right respect you not demean you disrespect you then you have to first of all learn to love yourself appreciate yourself look good do good talk good be good all right find that harmony and balance with yourself all right by believing and following your gut killing all the toxicity taking out or removing all the toxicity from your life okay by not keeping any secret to yourself when you choose to vibrate in that energy when you are truthful to yourself not keeping any secret to yourself when you are taking care of yourself loving yourself nourish, nourishing yourself giving that soul food to yourself with the proper knowledge proper wisdom proper research what you truly want to know what you should know where you should invest your time in you know you should invest your time and effort in yourself my dear as an empress all right then only you will be able to come out of this energy and you will be able to take that leap of faith so capricorn in your love dynamic i am seeing there is a lot of tug of war you know you are also not appreciating to who you are and the person that you are dealing with they are also not understanding what they what they truly want in in their life all right there that's why there is a tug of war if you are looking for a commitment or if you are looking for a stability in this connection why you are not getting that because the other person that you are dealing with they are not they are non-committal they are commitment phobic this person is a commitment phobic all right and god is also teaching them a lesson this person is also going through a lesson right now and god is also teaching them a lesson of how to take a leap of faith and speak their truth all right because you have spoken your truth to yourself then only you are speaking the truth to somebody else that's when you will be able to take that leap of faith so first of all you have to stand for yourself you have to take that leap of faith with yourself first by recognizing of who you are all right by recognizing who you are look at that by recognizing of who you are yes first of all you have to learn to speak your truth with yourself find the security and balance with yourself nurture and, and nurture and respect yourself of of your beauty of who you are your worth all right then only somebody else will start appreciating you start respecting you all right otherwise look beautiful energies are coming for you capricorn otherwise you will be stuck your life will be upside down if you don't do that all right if you don't do that that's what i'm feeling you have to listen to this nudges of the universe that 
this is what your universe is asking you to do if you want your wheel of fortune to turn in your favor and this masculine come to you and give you that good news then first of all you have to find that empress finally emperor and empress are two person destined to be together you guys are destined to be together this is a very soulful connection to the person that you are dealing with this this person possibly could be a soulmate or a, or you are in a twin flame dynamic you just both don't know your worth they don't know their worth and hence you guys are showing back to each other right now first of all you have to separately first of all they have to also learn their worth their they should how a masculine should be they have to learn the art of becoming a be a true masculine you have to learn the art of becoming the true feminine all right once you learn to be the true feminine true masculine then only you will understand how the divine energy works and once you understand how the divine energy works and you hone into that energy by standing your truth by taking those risks risk in your life by speaking your heart out with your truthfulness by knowing your true essence true beauty your paying attention to all your creative skills and ideas and all once you do that when you are working at your end that's when the other person because i have been talking about ripple effect looking into this card right so whatever you will do there will be a ripple effect to the person also with whom you are having a soulful relationship because this is how i see you guys are meant to be together all right you guys are meant to be together your destiny will uh, is telling me that you guys are meant to be together are in alignment um, in the near future but first of all you have to fix this me issue first all right you are giving too much of you issue you are everything to me i cannot live without you i will die without you i love you so much you are in this energy and sitting in a corner and crying and not paying attention to yourself you're calling a tower for yourself all right then god will have to do uh, that intervention into your life so that you know your worth of who you are once you know your worth of who you are and you start respecting yourself that's when you will get respect in this connection i am seeing in this connection there is a lot of um, you know respect issues you know like um, they don't respect to what you are doing they don't respect they don't see of what you do no matter how much you do for this person you cook nice food you bring them nice uh, gifts you do anything for this person it just couple of minutes or couple of hours as long as you guys are together once you are gone they are gone things are also gone out of the window out of the ventilators all right and if you really want something new to start up first of all start with yourself by loving yourself by finding that grounding energy for yourself and and you will see as you continue to vibrate in your energy automatically a person that is meant to be for you the person that you are aligned with you have that soulful companion we, we got the cards here this person will come to you with a commitment and they will communicate their heart out to you all right i hope this reading has helped you if any one of you needs a personal reading or counseling from me please feel free to reach out the details are in the description box below until we meet again i am sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye